the aphorism, as we think in our hearts so are we, not only embraces the whole of our being, but it is so comprehensive as to reach out to every condition and circumstance of our lives. We are literally what we think, our character being the complete sum of all our thoughts. As the plant springs from, and could not be without, the seed, so every one of our acts springs from the hidden seeds of our thoughts, and could not have appeared without them. This applies equally to those acts called spontaneous and unpremeditated as to those that are deliberately executed. Act is the blossom of thought, and joy and suffering are its fruits, thus do we gather in the sweet and bitter fruits of our own planting. What we are was designed and built by our own thoughts in our minds. If we nurture ignorant or evil thoughts, pain will soon follow. If our thoughts are healthy and beneficial, joy will follow us as surely as our shadows follow us on a sunny day. A man or a woman is a growth by law, not a creation by artifice, and such cause and effect is as absolute and undeviating in the hidden realm of thought as in the world of visible and material things. A noble and godlike character is not a thing of favor or chance, but is the natural result of continued effort in right thinking, the effect of long cherished association with godlike thoughts. An ignoble and bestial character, by the same process, is the result of the continued harboring of groveling thoughts. We are made or unmade by ourselves. In the armory of thought we forge the weapons we use to destroy ourselves, and we also fashion the tools we use to build for ourselves heavenly mansions of joy and strength and peace. By the right choices and true applications of our thoughts, we ascend to divine perfection. By the abuses and wrong applications of our thoughts, we descend below the level of the beast. Between these two extremes are all grades of character, and we are their makers and masters.